Welcome to the NSS Canada Tech Support video. Today we're going to be adding control points from a file into our job that we created in our last video. So first things first, I have my control file that I need to import on the SD card. I'm going to click our job. I'm going to go import data. We're going to go to import data from ASCII because it is a text file. So you'll see here data type to import ASCII data from SD card from file Facunas text is my control point file. To job is NSS Canada. If I wanted to create a new job on import, I would just click this little checkbox and I could rename my job here. We are not going to do that today. I'm just going to unclick it. First thing first, we have to make sure our file is ready for import. So I'm going to click the little FN in the corner and I'm going to go to my settings. I know that when I exported the file to the SD card, it was uh, point ID comma easting comma northern comma height. So I just want to make sure everything's set the same. So if it was tab delimited, I would click tab. I'm just going to have it comma. So it gives you an example at the bottom. So we got point easting northern and height ready for import. You can also click the display. And what that's going to do is going to pull up our point text file in the notepad in the back of the CS20 or on Captivate. So it's just going to pull up from the Windows menu. To get out of it, you just click the little X. So we are ready for import. I'm going to click OK. So it's saying here that our points already exist in this job. I'm going to overwrite them all because they are my new control points. Uh, so yes, to all. So we have 13 points imported. Do you wish to import any more data? We are going to click no. So we have two ways of viewing our data to make sure it imported correctly. I'm going to straight from the main menu, I'm going to click 3D Viewer. If you don't see your points right away, what you're going to do is click the little search icon and we're going to click the bottom uh, icon where it says pointing towards the points. That's going to bring us into our point data. And another way of click uh, checking to see if it imported correctly is actually click on the job, view and edit data. And here we are, we have our 3D viewer as well as our point list.